Hi, I'm Ben Gaines with Adobe Analytics Product Management, and in this video, I want to walk you through the new schedulable and downloadable projects in Analysis Workspace. Since the release of Analysis Workspace last year, this has been probably the number one most requested feature in Analysis Workspace, and we're very excited to get it into your hands as of the Spring 2016 Adobe Analytics release in April 2016. Here I've got a very basic project loaded up in Analysis Workspace. And uh, now I am ready to, uh, to download it and or schedule it to be delivered to myself or others on my team. Of course, I can still share it with them so that they can use it in the Adobe Analytics UI. But if I just want to give them a, uh, a copy, uh, a, a PDF, for example, uh, I can do that here. So I'm going to start by downloading. And to do that, I'm going to come in here to more, and I'm going to go simply to download as PDF, or I can also hit Shift Command B. Download as PDF, I, I will go ahead and save my changes. And now my download has started. I have actually already downloaded this one, so uh, rather than wait the few seconds that it will take, I will show you what this looks like. So here is a PDF export of that project that I was just looking at. I can see the uh, report suite it was based on, the date that I ran the thing, and the dates of the project itself. Um, you can see that the team has done an amazing job rendering analysis workspace in PDF format. So uh, it, it looks tremendous. It's ready to be consumed and shared uh, with others in, in your organization. So I'm going to go back now to uh, back here. And uh, now let's see what it looks like when I send this uh, out for delivery. So uh, I've got uh, two options here. As with downloading, I can send in CSV format or I can send uh, as a PDF. I'm going to choose to send as a PDF. I can add a description if I want to. Uh, one of the great things here is that I can, uh, I can choose from among the users in my company uh, for delivery here. So uh, let's uh, add a few of my colleagues um, to this uh, to this delivery, and uh, okay. So now I want to send them out. Now, if there's someone who isn't a user in my company, and I still want to deliver something to them, um, I can do that just by typing in an email address and hitting enter, and and you're all set. Okay. So uh, now I'm set to, uh, to create the schedule. Uh, I can determine a start date and even a start time, which is a new feature in the scheduler in Analysis Workspace. I can even go down to uh, you know to the minute to determine uh, when I want this thing to actually go out uh, or to begin going out. I can send it as often as hourly uh, or you know as as rarely as yearly uh, potentially. Uh, and I can choose, uh, if, if hourly, I can send it not just every hour, but every number of hours. So, for example, uh, I can do, uh, you know, if I want to send something every four hours, I can do that there. And I do have to choose an end date, which is a new, again, another new feature of the scheduler in Analysis Workspace. Uh, if I choose, uh, regardless of the end date that I choose, I will be notified by email uh, a month ahead of the end date and I'll be given the option of renewing the schedule uh, but uh, but I do have to choose an end date which will sort of determine when I'm prompted to either allow the schedule to lapse or or renew it and uh, all the other, and uh, once I've done that I'm all set I just hit uh, send on schedule and I'm not actually going to do that at the moment but uh, if I did these four people would receive a uh, a PDF a stunning PDF of this project at the in the intervals that I uh, that I described. So uh, again, hopefully this makes it much easier for you to uh, distribute analysis workspace projects in your organization, get others fired up about what you're doing within Adobe Analytics, uh, and allow uh, your company to make better data-driven decisions as you go.